let's take a look at how to identify terms, coefficients, and monomials. Okay, so terms are parts of your expression that are all written together. Okay, the terms are separated by plus or minus signs. So in this example, we'd have two terms. 4y is one term, and negative 9x squared is the other term. Okay, coefficients, that second vocabulary word, coefficients are the number in front of the term. And monomials mean things that just have one term. Okay, so we're going to read really carefully and see which of those vocabulary words, terms, coefficients, or monomials they're using. And we're going to think really carefully about each one. So this first question says, look at the following expression, 4y minus 9x squared. What is the coefficient of x squared? Okay, well, the coefficient is the number in front. So on the x squared term, I want to look and see what the number in front is. Now, the sign is part of it. Since it's minus 9x squared, that means our term is negative 9x squared. So the coefficient is not just 9, it's actually negative 9. Look at the following expression, negative x to the third. What is the coefficient of x to the third? Well, the negative sign, remember negative x to the third, means the exact same thing as negative 1 x to the third. So we can fill in our invisible 1, and then the coefficient or the number in front is negative 1. Remember, the sign is part of it. So coefficient, negative 1. Look at the following expression. 5y plus 7x squared. How many terms are there? Well, when you're trying to count how many terms, the terms are separated by plus or minus. So I have one plus sign here, so it's separating it into two terms. Right, one of my terms is 5y, the other one is 7x squared. So two terms. Look at the following expression, 6. How many terms are there? Well, notice I don't have any plus or minuses, right? There's nothing separating this. This is simply one term. Look at the following expression. How many terms are there? Well, the hint is that those terms are separated by plus and minus signs. So I've got one term here, 5y, another term here, 2x to the fourth, and then I have a third term here. So there's one, two, three terms. Is 4x squared a monomial? Well, remember, monomial is a vocabulary word that means one term. Okay, mono always means one, so monomial is one term. Well, yes, if I look at 4x squared, there's no plus or minus signs, right? Nothing separating the two terms, so that's all one term. So yes, it's a monomial. Is x a monomial? Well, again, there's no plus or minuses, right? It's just one thing. So yes, it's one term or one or a monomial. Is 5 a monomial? Again, it's only one term, so yes. Is 7x plus 3x a monomial? Okay, and no. Remember, those terms are separated by the plus sign. So this has two terms. A monomial means only one term, so no. Same thing here. We've got two terms. Monomial means one term, so no.